My first guest tonight is the most hated man in the World Wrestling Federation. And on August 27th, you can see him in the WWF Summer Slam on pay-per-view. Please welcome the one, we hope the only, Triple H. That was some good acting on your part. <laughs> you got a hell of a grip, man. Yes, I do. I'm quite a man. <laughs> now, let's talk here. You are probably the best bad guy in the world. You're very good at it. You enjoy it, don't you? You enjoy being the bad guy. Yeah, it's what I, uh, it's what I live for. When the people are booing or they're screaming and spitting at me, that's what I live for. I mean, it's the... <laughs> it's, it sounds weird, but it's the best part of my job. And the, the funny thing about our industry is that uh, most times the baddest bad guys tend to be the nicest guys Backstage, personally. Yeah, right. you know, and the, the good guys tend to be the biggest jerks, you know. I mean, pretty much like you. I mean... <laughs> <laughs> That's the best you've got? <laughs> That's it? <laughs> I'm serious. I met him backstage. He comes off as a great guy out here, right? He's all yeah. smiling, happy, yeah. making you laugh. Backstage, what a jerk. <laughs> You're the biggest, biggest Hollywood piece of crap I ever met. That's all you've got? You can't do better than that? <laughs> They don't understand. They don't understand that the booing makes you stronger. It makes me strong like bull. <laughs> <laughs> but I am a big jerk backstage. It's what I enjoy doing. Uh, do people, uh, by the way, you're a fathead. Uh, <laughs> Is this, is this your attempt at uh, doing what I do for a living, inciting people? I think if I started being like a real bad guy, I think it would be, I mean, our show, our, our ratings couldn't probably get any higher than they are now. <laughs> but I think if I started, might change my whole persona and went after people just like you, I think that the show would just really take off. So and if, if you had an attitude, a bad attitude, you figured that would help? It's like jerk. <laughs> I mean, come on, you look like uh, Fabio on crack. I mean, you're all pants up. You got the big, seriously. You got the big man boobies. Like, look at that, look at that, look at that. Ah, no, 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 no. <laughs> Sid, <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> oh, great, I wet myself. It's such... You forgot the you forgot the first rule of being a bad guy is you can talk trash, but you, you have to be able to it back up. it yeah, up. Yeah, I don't have the backing up thing. If I took my jacket off, my torso would fall into the ground. <laughs> it's, like a, it's the only thing hand, holding me together right like now. You're like a coat hanger with meat hanging <laughs> off it. <laughs> right, I like, now you're sort of like Shecky Green, yeah. <laughs> you're Don Rickles, yeah. Now, people actually carry signs at these wrestling matches. They carry signs... That, that say how much they hate you. Yeah. Is there, and, and you have to look, you, you have to look at Shut that. Up. <laughs> Good comeback, yeah, you have to, you have to look at these signs, which I think would be really difficult to see. What, what's, what sign has particularly stuck out lately? I, uh, I mean, we get all kinds of signs, I mean, from, you know, people hating us. A lot of them are the same. Sometimes there's original ones. Actually, my favorite sign, because I'm a big fan of the show, believe it or not, uh, my favorite sign was just a little bit ago. There was a sign in the crowd, and uh, one of the sayings that I say all the time is that I'm that damn good. Right, right. And uh, it was a sign that said, Triple H is that damn good. And when the guy flipped the sign over, it said, For me to poop on. <laughs> and I really thought that was great. I'm a big Triumph fan, you know? I like the image of you being happy for a second, and then, uh. Did, uh, do you, uh, do you ever smile, because in all the footage I've seen of you, you're never smiling. Have you ever smiled once in the ring that you can remember? One time. Yeah. Uh, about a year ago, maybe a little bit less than that, we, there's a wrestler that wrestles for us named Al Snow. Mm -hmm. And, um, I was wrestling Al Snow in a match on, on television, and, uh, I picked him up for a suplex, and 
which is what's move. the suplex? It's basically a move where I hold a guy straight up in the air, his head's here, his legs are straight up in the air. I let the blood rush his head for about 10, 15 seconds, and then drop him backwards. Yeah, I do that sometimes if I <laughs> a little sticky situation. Yeah. yeah. So um, I grabbed him by his trunks, and as I went to pick him up, I held him up for about five or six seconds, and I heard the crowd start to laugh, and I was kind of confused for a second. The referee came around the front side, looked up, and went, "Oh God!" and started to laugh. And I looked up and realized that his trunks had slid all the way over to this side and he had nothing on underneath his trunks. Right, right. <clears throat> and the hard part is people are laughing, which, yeah. I, which mean, I can attest, this is not a pleasant situation. They should have yeah. been. It, it, it looked like a grub worm was trying to burrow out of a fur oh, coat. Oh, right. <clears throat> <laughs> wow. Yeah. You're it like James a... Joyce with these images. These are <laughs> it was beautiful, brutal. wonderful images here. So anyways, I ended up, you know, just the crowd was laughing. I was laughing. I gave him the suplex, and on the way down, I just said, you oh, you know. <laughs> and, uh... It was. You could have used another word. You could have said, your grub worm is showing. <laughs> But no, that's not your style. Yeah. You sell, uh, you, you're actually sell, uh, a, lot of, a lot of stuff, a lot of, a lot of Triple H souvenirs are selling for a lot of money on eBay. Is this yeah. true? Um, we actually, WWF has our own auction site. Right. And uh, we do, you know, part of the proceeds to that go to charity and they'll sell, you know, to fans, our fans are crazy. They're kind of like Trekkies, but not nerds, you know? And, and they'll buy. No, no, they're. They're, they're, they're Trekkies that can do some serious damage. <laughs> yeah. If you, if, you, uh, if you get in their face. Yeah, but th they'll buy just about anything. You know, I mean, uh, I've signed chairs that I've got whacked in the head with that I just had my blood smattered all over them and signed it, and they'll auction them off and, and, and get people, a lot and they of don't money. And they don't clean the blood off? They keep the blood on? No, that's the, uh, that's the thrill. Of that. Blood actually makes it worth more. Have you My ever, like, if you're, if you're hard up, would you just ever, like, get, like, ten chairs ahead of you and just, like, <laughs> yeah. you know? I jab myself in the head and <laughs> there you try go. to get a couple of bucks, yeah. <laughs> you always have that to fall back on. You know what's really weird is that I'm just, you can't help but notice your arm is like my leg, you know? It's, and, no, actually, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> this is my leg right here. <laughs> that part is my leg. That's the only that, thing I recognize on you is like my anatomy. Torso. What is it? That's amazing. Can you get implants that do that? I would just, oh, look at that. There's like a, it's like there's a little, it's like there's a person in there. <laughs> it's like, it's like you have a, you hire a dwarf to hang, push up. <laughs> no? Yeah. Easy. <clears throat> I am some whoop ass you do not want to open. That's, that's what you don't want to mess with. Me. Seriously. Seriously, you don't. I think, you know, I can because, only imagine. because people don't know this. People on TV, I play this guy, oh, it was a nerd. <laughs> Got my little tie and stuff. But when I don't even take my clothes off when the show's over, I flex and they fly off. You just shred them. I walk out when the show's over and I go, oh, like that. And I'm completely naked and I walk the halls. That is a talent to have. Yeah, well, well, I've never been so full of crap as I am tonight <laughs> on the show. Now, and one thing I wanted to ask you is you're, you're very, very good at, 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 at just sort of generating that anger and that hatred and that, that, that mean look out there. Do you ever, after a really, really tough match is over, do you ever go back, you know, back into the dressing room and actually hang out with the guy that you've been beating on for the last 20 minutes, half hour? Yeah, I mean, sometimes, you know, I mean, what we do, is, you know, guys get along, some guys don't get along, and, and uh, you know, there's a... It's kind of the honor among thieves things. We'll kind of hang around afterwards and tell each other how great we were, you know? And, uh... It's, it's, the, shame, it's the same in the talk show world. I'm sure you me. do it in the back, yeah. Oh, yeah, I go back there. Leno's back there. Oh, you were pretty good over. tonight. Yeah, I was good, too. <laughs> yeah, I, mean, I was good. Your chin looked great. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, there was actually, a, a, just a little while ago, a funny story is, uh... I was at uh, Madison Square Garden. We had a pay-per-view there. Um, called the Royal Rumble, and I fought uh, Mick Foley. Right. Uh, actually, Cactus Jack, he's been on here before. I yes, believe. he's been here. And uh, it was a particularly uh, violent match. It was a street fight. I 
You yeah. guys are like hitting each other with chains, chairs. We, we barbed went at wire. it with everything. We had uh, two by fours covered in barbed wire. Right. Uh, there were twenty thousand thumbtacks in the ring. Yeah. Uh, I mean, we did. What a wonderful sport. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I got a hole punctured in my leg, right. and and uh, so anyways, after the match is over, I've got stitches in my leg, stitches in my head. I've got. I look like a Spirit of '76, like the right. drum player, the big bandage around my head. Mick Foley's back there, same thing, he's all bandaged up, and Vince McMahon's back there, and we're all standing around laughing and talking, and I look over, and there's my mother bawling her eyes out in the doorway because she just watched her baby son get torn apart on uh, right in front of her eyes about three Aww. rolls back, you know? Wait, no, that's, that saps him of his strength. <laughs> So, Sympathy uh, will take away his power, only booing. So as a true heel, I just yelled at her and then... <laughs> yeah, I boo, yeah. kicked her and we were out of there. <laughs> yeah, hey, I like... I like how you thought people were gonna boo you kicking your mom, but our yeah. crowd's like, ah. Oh. All right. New York. Yeah. That is a New York crowd. Well, uh, the uh, Summer Slam is on August 27th on pay-per-view. And uh, Triple H, very nice to have you here. Thanks. Thank you yeah. very much. Thanks for making the time to do it. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, uh, before we go away, Elizabeth Berkeley is uh, coming up in just a minute. But first, tonight's show is brought to you in part by Levi's. Levi's, make them your own. In fact, wearing Levi's will make you go from this oh, 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 oh. to this. Uh-huh.